Orion Vincent here from Cell Entertainment. I'm with Easton of the Nax. Easton, first and foremost, you are in the championship game. How are you feeling today? Uh, we feel great. You know, uh, good night's rest last night, but we got we to gotta be ready to go here. Yeah, you're playing a tough team, the Little Caesars, all the way from Detroit, facing off against the, you guys in the championship. What's the game plan for you guys to get the victory here today? Uh, I think we got to start early, get on them early, you know. They had a quick turnaround today, so we just got to get them early and finish our checks, you know, get pucks in deep and uh, finish them. Sounds like a good game plan. A couple quick fun questions before I let you go. Uh, what's your favorite song or music artist? Oh, that's tough. I, I like the remixes we have in the room. I'm not like a music guy, but I think our remixes are good. Awesome. Last question before I let you go. Who's your favorite hockey player of all time? Uh, my all-time favorite hockey player would have to be Leon Dreisaitl. Beauty. Hey, thanks a lot, and uh, good luck in today's game. Thank you. Jets have a shot. Tim, oh, and they oh, score! Beautiful pass. What a score! Oh, yo, yo, let's go. Oh, oh, it. What a goal by Gil. Fockhole beats S and gets the go-ahead goal for the Eagles. Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Detroit Little Caesars versus the Northern Alberta Extreme. Live from Burnaby Winter Club in beautiful Burnaby, British Columbia, this is the Pat Quinn Classic. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. What's up, guys? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you've clicked on this video, do a small favor before you watch it. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get into it, oh. Green, it's the Northern Alberta Extreme, a.k.a. the Nats, right there in those blue jerseys with white trim, and they have Sheehan in between the pipes for them. And on the other end, right in front of our eyes, it's the Detroit Little Caesars wearing those white jerseys with aqua blue and light orange trim, and they have Falbo in between the pipes for them. Hello, Falbo, and hello, Sheehan. Green, this is the 2024 Pat Quinn Classic Tournament U15 Flight 1 Championship Game, and I'm excited. I'm right there with you, man. I can't wait for this game. On that note, I want to take a quick second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name or call you the wrong number. I am sorry. It happens from time to time. That being said, let's dive into the action, Green. The Detroit Little Caesars facing off against the Nax Alberta Extreme. Uh, these are two of the top teams in this tournament. I believe that the Detroit Little Caesars are actually top two in all of North America right now. I could be wrong, but I'm hearing great things about these two teams, Green. That's what people are saying. The rumor mill is <laughs> flying right now. It is turning. And uh, let's dive into the action with an icing call. Here we go. Detroit Little Caesars from the point have a shot. Northern Alberta Extreme trying to get it out. There's a nice shot and an easy save by Sheehan. Caesars aren't wasting any time putting shots on the goal. There's no time to waste in a championship game, Green. They have battled hard to get this far right out front. Oh. And they have a nice shot right in the crest of Sheehan who handles that one as the Nats are having trouble getting that puck into the Detroit Ooh. Little Caesars nice zone. And there's a big hit. Yes, sir. That was a nice one. Green, I wonder if this game is going to get physical, knowing that both of these teams have had a long battle to get to this championship game. Are they feeling tired? Are they worn out? These are all questions that the fans oh. want to know. And there's a huge hit by number 17, Kessler on Bouchard. Ooh, he got soaked. Fun fact, Green, Ryan Kessler, ex-Canuck, is the coach of the Detroit Little Caesars. And uh, we just seen his uh, son there smash Going the Nats player. Going to work. Yeah, like father, like son there, Green. There we go. Detroit Little Caesars moving that puck up. Nice stick by the Nats to intercept it, but it lands on Tango's stick. Flips it up, handled by the Nats player. And the Detroit Little Caesars are pressuring hard right now, Green. They are. They're really doing well in the zone. Turn on the pressure washer. Yeah. There's a shot. Nice block by the Detroit Little Caesars. Oh, and, oh right up close and personal. There's a big hit by Kennedy. The whistle gets blown, and it looks like we got a penalty on the yeah. play. Head contact. But, Green, I don't know about this one. Let's run it back and have a closer look. I'm going to say his hands come up really high here, right into his face. It's a good call. It's a head contact. Did his hands actually contact his face? I don't know if I would call that a penalty, personally, Green. You I don't want to see your hands coming up at all. No, I know you got to lower your hands when you follow through on the hit, but I think that was just exactly that. He was following through on the hit. I don't know if there was any contact actually on the head. Regardless, he's going to have to go sit. Back in the action we go. Wolitski. Cross ice. Oh, nice. Right to the near side. Number seven has a shot. Big save by Falbo who gets tested for the first time tonight, it feels like. That's some nice puck work right there. Keep in mind that this is a live hockey game. It is also an edited highlight reel. 
I don't know how it happens. We're living in the Matrix, Green. <laughs> Yes, we are, my friend. Yes, we are. Number 15, Miles dumps Whoa. that deep down an awkward bounce. Luckily, there is no Knacks players wow. there to capitalize on it for the Detroit Little Caesars. What a weird bounce that was. Kang fired that right over to 14. Knight who moves it right up. And these kids can move that puck quick, Green. They are definitely really good at moving the puck around, man. Tape, tape all the time. We, great, got a, great hockey. we got a boarding call. I thought I'd seen it right there in the corner of my eyes. That was a boarding. Tough one to see, but uh, nah, man's going to have to go sit. He's like, nah, man, nah, I want to go man. to the box. Nah, man, come on, ref. Back in the action, the Detroit Little Caesars are now on the power play. It's Carver moving that puck over to Kelly. Kelly has a shot. Don't know if that hit a body or whatnot, but the puck is loose. Fired all the way over, and oh, there it goes. I Another thought, weird bounce. Yeah, I thought that was... It was bringing around and it went off one of the posts. It was supposed to be way deep in the zone of the Little Caesars, but it wasn't. Now it is, though, Green. There we go. Moon has that puck, 53. Leaves it for Kelly. Kelly right up to Carver, slides that puck in. Moore handles it, cross ice over to 29. Ballinger, nice drop. Look at this way these kids move Dude, this puck, Green. It's incredible. This is high level hockey. There's a big shot block by number 10, Art of the Northern Alberta Extreme. Little Caesars going to work right there. It, they got to credit all that free Little Caesars, Holy I'm sure they get, Green. These guys are moving the puck around insane, dude. Little Caesars, I'm sure that they're sponsored by Little Caesars, as you can see the emblem on the side of their helmet. And uh, that, that pizza gives them the energy they need to compete <laughs> in the high level of this hockey game, Gets Green. them all carved up. Here we go. Kelly has a shot and oh. scores! What a goal by Kelly of the Detroit Little Caesars to open up the scoring in this hockey game. Dude, from almost at the blue line, he sinks that shot. That was beautiful. That was a phenomenal goal as we run it back. It all starts right there from Kelly. Look at that lift, nifty little move to go around Jim. Kelly lets it oh. go. Goes glove side, top corner, Green. He went up top right where you keep all of those spices that you don't use anymore <laughs> all the ones i can't stand <laughs> one to nothing the detroit little caesars over the knacks and we got ourselves a hockey game here we do it oh! oh man a big hit in the neutral ice i don't know if that was a should have been a penalty on the play no, i don't know he was i thought he had the puck i was gonna say shots are really close in this game kessler right in front of the backhand uh whiffs it a little bit oh. the, little scrum going on and the referee's got his arm up i don't know if the net's off he lost sight of the puck either way we're gonna get back into the action here green I don't know why. Oh, oh man a man. huge hit by ballinger of the detroit little caesars as they move the puck back into the zone of the northern alberta extreme man the hits in this game have been amazing there is some big hits green that's what you get in high level hockey is Celts. Walks that puck up more like runs. Green, he's streaking right now. Sorry, that's Wolitski. Wolitski on the far side getting hammered Double by team. Kessler and another player. Throws it towards the net. Puck comes over on the near side boards. Northern Alberta couldn't get to it. It's Kessler who moves that puck up in the neutral zone for the Little Caesars. Dishes off to Schmidt. Schmidt right out to number 10 more. Couldn't handle it. That was a that was a nice one, Green. Still a nice move, man. He hit the brakes and made a nice pass after it. And that's gonna be the end of the first period. One to nothing, the Detroit Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme so far. Well, at least we got one on the board. One was zero. That's okay. Good first period. Listen, if you made it as far and you haven't yet, do us a small favor before you get in the second period. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get back into it. Green, right away I've seen the referee's yeah. arm go up. I think we got a penalty starting off the second period. And it's going to be against the Detroit Little Caesars as the Northern Alberta right up front jamming away at that puck trying to even up this game. And they touch it. The referee's calling a holding call. And uh, we're going to have to run it back and see if we can catch it on film. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, it's going to be right there. It's right there. Number eight, Hare. Right. Hare's in it. Or, sorry, Nair. Nope, it's Hare, Green. That was a good call. Yep. He just got bit by the hair of the dog. <laughs> he held him up. He, it was a good call. Oh, a little referee spill. You got to love those, Green. Love them. Love the referee spill. <laughs> well, let's see. Comes in. Has oh, a shot, shot. Through traffic, but couldn't get behind Falbo as the Northern Alberta Extreme are going to try to capitalize on this power play. It's Wolitski. Nice little pass. Great. Uh, back and they got intercepted. Oh, nice hold by Wolitski. Wolitski lets it go just shy of the mark as 15 Miles is after it. Miles right over to Kelts. Kelts over to 7. Fayad. Fayad right back to Wolitski. Wolitski to nice. Kelts. 
Northern Alberta Extreme are doing a great job moving this puck, and I was going to say holding the zone, but we had a little bit of a tumble from Wolitski, and that's going to cause the Detroit Little Caesars to clear the zone. Man, they were looking good in the zone, though. Back in the zone, they are, Green. Kelts cross ice over to Fayad. Fayad curling around, didn't like what he's seen right there. On the line, moves it over to the near side, right back to Kelts. Kelts over to Wolitski. Wolitski taking his time, right back to Kelts, Woo. who has a shot. And we're going to run that back, Green. That was a really nice Dude. save by Falbo. Beautiful one-timer. Goalie oh. comes sliding across. Makes a huge save. That Beautiful. was labeled for the back of the net. Yeah. It was such a hard shot. I didn't even know what happened. We had to run it down so I could see because I'm old and I'm losing my vision, Green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Number 13, Detroit Little Caesars fires it all the way down into the Nax zone for an icing call. Yeah, we're going all the way back down the end. Here we go. Picked up by Art, who has a shot right out front. And wow. Falbo gets tested for the second or third time tonight. They're putting some pressure on him right now, man. They're looking really sharp right now. Yeah, they are. They're looking good. Uh, Kelly turns it around. The other way, they have a shot. Nice save by Sheehan as the puck gets up out of the zone. And the Nats is after it, but it's turned around. The Detroit Little Caesars dump it all the way back into the Northern Alberta Extreme Zone. Oh, get that out of there. They play with fire green. It's Krebs with that puck on the far side. Krebs fires it over to... Marty Newick, who turns into number nine and lets it rip. Puck oh, over on the near in. side. It absolutely did not go in, Green. You're also losing your vision, just like me. Moore coming in. Moore makes a couple moves. Goes down, Green. Did he get hooked there? I don't know. The referee's arms up. They're calling a penalty shot on the play here. I want to see it back just to see if he got in on him. Let's have a look. There's Walitsky. He went uh, down over. Did he trip him? I don't he might know, have, He might have got his skate. He, he didn't hook him. I don't think that warranted a penalty shot, dude. All he did was reach over top of him and touch a stick. Well, we got a penalty shot, and it's more one-on-one on, one on the oh. backhand. He had the goalie beat, but he beat himself on that one, Green. Woo, that was slick. So it is still one nothing for the Little Caesars yeah. there. There's oh. a shot. Make my words disappear and it's now <laughs> two to nothing instead of one nothing gobble gobble eat those words that's right uh when molly and leviosa wave that magic wand and here we go what green goal number 14 knight gets the second goal of the game for the detroit little caesars right off of the face off gets the night look at the flex on that twig Dude, waste no time with everybody moving around in front of the net just puts one on the goalie, buries it. Well, that's just it, Green. There was a lot of traffic in front of yeah. the net, making the goaltender hard to get a read on the puck after it left the stick of night, and he just buried one. Two to nothing, the Detroit Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme. He said good night. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Nats is crashing the net of the Little Caesars, trying to make something happen. You can see Falbo is hop, skipping, and jumping oh, in his he crease. His hit. There he was, Green. He Ouch. just missed it. Little Caesars scrambling with that puck. There you go. Nice work to take it off of the skate and gain the zone of the Northern Alberta Extreme. Right over to 2 7 Kennedy. Uh, but it's Harvey. Got that puck knocked away, and it just ripped him. It is scrambled eggs out there right now, Green. All sorts of scrambly. Northern Alberta Extreme trying to get a breakout. Eats a little bit of a hit. No worries as the puck is deep into the Little Caesar zone right now. Little Caesars after it trying to get it out of their zone and they do. 2-9. Ballinger in the zone of the Knacks. So it's right out front as a shot. Picked up by Jim. Jim fires it all the way over to Fayad but he couldn't handle the pass and because of that the Little Caesars are going to gain possession. Little Caesars more right over to Thompson. Thompson looking for more. Oh, Puck's right there. Man. And how did that not go in, Green? I'll tell you how. She had extended the pad Smooth. and made that big save his team desperately needed right now. They cannot afford to go up three. No, man. Or go was, down three. I think it actually went off the post, I too. Think, I think you're right. And then he extended his pad and quickly Still. snagged, covered it up with a blocker nice hand. Save. Really, really nice save. Uh, back in the action we go. Northern Alberta Extreme trying to go for a wraparound. Lost the handle on it, but it's Art who's battling. Little Caesars trying to ring that puck out of the zone, and they do as Krebs collects it. Krebs fires it all the way back down into the Little Caesars zone. Dump and chase. That's the way to do it right now. Max on the near side. Picked up by Sapots. Uh-oh. Wasn't paying attention. Almost too many men there, Green. You see they had to turn around yep. and he had to stay on the ice. Number 16, Dunphy lost the handle on it. Little Caesars trying to get it out. 
Held in by Krebs. Krebs lets it go. Uh, puck right up front. There's a save. Chapman awaited another save. And there's a little bit of a cross check by number 13, Carver, of the Detroit Little Caesars. And it looks like the referee's got his arm up. That might be a penalty on the play here, Green. Dude, that is 100%. That was no little cross check. He smokes him. Well, there's Art. He's whacking away at it. And Carver comes in. Boom! Oh, yeah, that dude. was high. He, he might have got him in high. He might have got him high shoulder right there. Oh, yeah. He's I, don't, like, I don't think he got a head contact, but either way. I don't think he's going to get a head contact, is he? No, no, just no it's just cross check. So uh, 13 Carver's going to have to go sit. Putting the Nats on the power play right now. they got to capitalize here, right? Arndt on the near side right there. Feeds it off to number 19, Bouchard, right over to Jim. And they're moving that puck well, Green. They are. I, I mean, noticed last time they had a power play, they moved that puck well. I would like to see a little more shots and make me eat my words again. There oh, you go, loose. Green. They do really well on the power play. They got a good uh, power play. True Piano fired that puck all the way down, out of danger for the Detroit Little Caesars. Okay, pick it up. They're going to set up now. Bouchard starting the breakout for the Knacks. Hits 2 1. Andres. 19. Bouchard threw that puck in, gained the zone. Picked up by Hare. Hare fires it all the way back down into the Northern Alberta Extreme Zone for an icing call. So that power play is finished. Yes, sir. They could not capitalize on it. That's how fast things move here at Sally Entertainment. Just the oh my, oh God. my goodness! What a goal by Kennedy! Dude, I saw this coming, man. That was a really pretty looking one, Green. I can't wait to watch this one back. Dude, he had a perfect angle. You could see the shot coming as soon as he turned. I knew I knew exactly what he was going to do. You were psychic, Green. You've seen it. Right off of the faceoff. Look at that win. Right to 81, Tangway. Tangway over to Kennedy. And, man... The, Ken the Kennedys know what they're doing. Look how much open space that Sheehan <laughs> had on the far side. Kennedy's <laughs> eyes lit up, Green, with eyes wide open it as the like song goes. It was a gift. It was. It's Christmas, Green. He's unwrapping his presents. Beautiful. Three to nothing. The Detroit Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme so far. We got a little uh, gap here. Yep. They're, uh, they're building on that lead, Green. Stay. Oh, there's a big hit by number 12, Woletsky. And the referee's arm went up. I would say that's probably interference, and there's a call. I don't think the puck was anywhere near him, Green. Let's well, they were both reaching for it. Watch. They were. Well, there you go. He dumped it. It hit up. his stick. But you can see number 12, Wolitski, isn't playing for that puck. He's playing for the hit. Um, he's going to have to go sit for that. Yep. They should have left him alone. I mean, if he was playing for that puck and then threw that hit, it would have been an interference call. This isn't going to be good for uh, the Knacks. Caesars are on a power play now. They're already up three. You're absolutely correct, Green. Here we go, Thompson leading the power play here for the Detroit Little Caesars with possession of that puck. Fires it over to the point. 66, Kelly, nice little move. Kelly has a shot. Big save by Sheehan. Puck behind the net. Oh, There's a dude. flying hit as a Knacks player goes down. That was a huge hit. He's going to get a hit. I, wonder, yeah, I, I was going to say, Green, it looks like he had him lined up from a yeah. mile away there as we run it back and have a closer look. Nice little move by 66, oh. Kelly. Now watch this, Green. Kessler. Oh, oh. And he jumped. That's a charge, that's right? Pro that's why. He didn't have him lined up. I I'm going to retract that You're statement. Not to leave the ice it's here. because he left his feet. And I guess the rule now, if you leave your feet, so I've been told recently, that is an automatic charge. Yep. Uh, something I'm that shocked. I didn't know not too long ago, Green, but I mean, I barely know anything as it is, so we're <laughs> learning every day. I don't understand why guys are jumping anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, your kid does it all the time. Yeah, so. and he gets a lot of penalties for it. He does, he does. He quit doing that this year. Did he? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. He's suspended right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> How would I know? We don't get to watch him play. Back in the action we go. Scrum on the far side corner between the Northern Alberta and Detroit Little Caesars. A whistle goes, and I wonder what the referees are going to call here, Green. Probably nothing. Oh. It looks like he's sending someone. I hate when kids' skates come up so nope, highly. he's not sending anyone. Nope. That's just the end of the period. 3-0, the Little Caesars over the Alberta Extreme. And if you made it this far and you haven't yet, do us a small favor before you get in the third period. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get back into it. Here we go. Back in the action. Live at the Burnaby Winter Club for the third period between the Detroit Little Caesars and the Northern Alberta Extreme. And right off of the bat, Bouchard's going to take oh, a penalty yeah. for a lower lumbar cross check on Kennedy. Uh, yeah, that definitely warrants a penalty, Green. That was a good eye by the ref. We've seen a lot of those over the past year doing Selly games, and those are some of my least favorite hits is those lower back they cross hurt. checks. They hurt. Yeah, they're no fun, Green. No one likes those. Um, there we go. Let's see if they can capitalize on that power play. 
Falbo with that puck. Oh, Yo, man, that dangerous risky. feed as 15 miles almost had an opportunity of a lifetime here for the Northern Alberta Extreme. I never understand why people put it in front of that like that. I just don't. Well, it's like hockey 101, man. Don't put it in front of the net. Well, Green, sometimes when you get pressured, you panic. Uh, Kelly with that puck for the Little Caesars. Kelly moves it over to the far side. They have a shot. Nice save by Sheehan as the puck comes over to the near side boards. Number 13, Carver fires it all the way over. True Piano handles it right back to Kessler. Kessler behind the net was looking for 2-7. Kennedy. Nice Kelly, move. nice little move, has a shot. I don't know if that was blocked. Didn't seem to make it to the net, Green. It's Carver from the point who lets it rip. There's a blocker saved by Sheehan. Truppiano fires it towards the net. Kessler in the mix right there. Truppiano on the back wow. end. A sprawling save by Sheehan. And a lot of action has been happening in the Northern Alberta Extreme Zone this hockey game. That was a great save by Sheehan, man. It was a really good save by Sheehan. Thompson of the Little Caesars trying to find a man down deep. is picked up by Bellinger. Bellinger right back to Thompson who can't get it, but it's backed up by the point man, number eight, Hare. It's get, it's a hairy situation out there, especially <laughs> for the Northern Alberta Extreme Green. Thompson look good, man. They look really good. There is a reason why they're rated the number two team in all of Northern America, and we're seeing it right here. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we don't get to see a lot of these teams being based in the Vancouver area, so these tournaments are great. We get to see teams from all over. We want to extend oh, no. our big thanks to Pat Quinn and the Classic Tournament and all that for having us. Uh, yeah, here we go, Green. It's always a good time. Let's run this back. Forgot Look the at that. There was water on the puck that almost led to a goal. He got uh, clipped in the face there, Green, I think. Yeah, there was a whistle on it. They got him for it. There Head you contact. go. Number eight, Hare is going to have to go sit. Time for a haircut. <laughs> While you're in the box. 16, Kang rings it around the far side. Detroit Little Caesars move it out and uh, picked up by number 12, Wolitski. They had right back to Walitsky. Walitsky starting the breakout for the Northern Alberta Extreme. Right up to Kelts. Kelts moves that puck into the Detroit Little Caesar zone. Kelts, oh, oh, a miss from the point. Unfortunate for the Knack. Just out of reach. As the Little Caesars comes oh. in on the shot. And Truppiano gets a shorty right here. Four to nothing. The Little Caesars. Holy sugar cookies. <laughs> oh, dude, what a sharp angle shot that was, too. That was insane, Woo. Green. All because of that mishap. That pass right back to the man on the blue line who was non-existent. Wasn't in the right area. And the Little Caesars capitalized on that right here. Here, Green. Number 11, Kelts. He was actually coming in yeah. a little out of position, reaching for that. Couldn't get it. True piano. Look at that shot. Comes in. A beautiful shot, Green. Dude, it goes far side on the goalie. Come on. And I like the flock of seagulls, Selly, he's doing there. He's going to flock over to his team and collect on that goal by celebrating with them. Four to nothing. The Detroit Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme with 17 minutes left to go in this game. And Green, it looks like the Northern Alberta Extreme have pulled Sheehan and they're replacing him with Gibson. Hello, Gibson. Welcome to the game, Gibson. Let's see. Sometimes you need to do a little bit of a shake-up to shake things up. Yeah, you do. Sometimes you got I mean, you got to give the team some hope, right? Again, we've seen it in the past doing hundreds of games. Yeah. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, Green. But we have seen it work in the past. We have indeed. Here we go back in the action. Number 19, Bouchard for the Northern Alberta Extreme has that puck. Bouchard feeds it over to the point. Jim right over to Krebs. Krebs right back to Bouchard who has a shot. Puck trickles by. Rebound. Krebs collects it. Trying to find that point. They give it right back to Krebs. And the Little Caesars clear their zone. A couple too many passes there, man. It got out of hand, right? We were talking about that in the beginning of the game, I believe. I, I wanted to see them shoot more. Yeah. Their power play looked really good. They're doing a lot of passing. I mean, you can't knock that, but throw a couple shots in the mix. Put a couple pucks on the goalie and look for a rebound, right? Exactly. Back in the action. Jim gains his own. The Little Caesars has a shot. Speaking of pucks on net, Green, there one was. Falbo got the glove on that. Face off. Won by the Little Caesars, it looks like. Number 18, Sapots feeds it over to Moore. Moore in the zone of the Knacks. On the near side, that's a shot. Nice save by Gibson. 
And Gibson coming in cold is definitely going to want to fill the puck with shots like that to warm up, Green. Yeah, and they're going to warm up real quick. Those, yeah, yeah, the way that this game is going, I would say so. 2-1. Uh, Andres has that puck. Andres lets it go. There's a nice save by Falbo. Well, let's keep picks up the rebound. Fires it. Was looking for the man, number seven. A uh, little bit of help from the point man. Seven has a shot. Big uh, pad save by Falbo. Puck on the near side. Miles from the point. Throws it just wide. Way wide. Detroit Little Caesars clear their zone. The Northern Alberta Extreme doesn't get a lot of time on attack whenever they enter the zone of the Detroit Little Caesars, I'm noticing. They're in there for a bit, and then that's it. Especially when it's five on five. Like, when they're on their power play, man, they do really well. They do. When, but when they're five on five, they're having a hard time holding the zone. They are. Here we go. Knight from the point. Hits a body. Picked up by Tangway. Can't handle it. Northern Alberta Extreme push that puck out of their zone. It's Hare. Hare spins around just oh, out of man. danger from 15 miles who's pressuring. Oh, a little bit of a fall from Detroit Little Caesars. And it looks like we got a offside. Ping pong game going on. Puck's just bouncing all over the place. That happens in hockey sometimes, Green. Krebs eats nice. a hit from the Detroit Little Caesars. We haven't seen any big hits since the beginning of this we game. We haven't. It started off physical. And, Green, I'm wondering if that's because both of these teams are probably fatigued from the battle it took to get to the championship game. They're probably both beat up. There was a lot of hits in the previous games leading to this championship game. Um, I mean, they might want to just focus on hockey and winning the game now. I mean, it's a good strategy. Especially if you're... Stay out of the box, right? Yep. Being in the box ain't going to do you anything. That's true. Here we go. Detroit Little Caesars pick up that puck. Number 66, Kelly. Kelly right over the near side. A little light hit was soaked up. Kelly trying to push that puck towards Head the net. Contact. Glove down and green. There you go. The referee caught that right away. He's telling him to go to the box. And uh, Schmidt's going to have to go sit. And we're going to run it back. I mean, there's no question about this right here, right? It's actually goalie interference right oh, there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Schmidt got goalie interference. He ran into the goalie. You can see Krebs is defending his goaltender because of that. And uh, that's going to put the Northern Alberta Extreme on the power play as some chirpings going on on the near side. Not too sure what's being said, but, I mean, that's hockey green. People that's chirp, and it looks like these two are probably going to go for unsportsman like I would guess if I had to. That's probably a pretty good guess, though. I would say so. Back in the action. Here we go. The Northern Alberta Extremer most likely on the power play still, Green, because that would be a coincidental if I had to guess. Um, let's see if they can capitalize on their power play here. It's Ballinger who's all the way into the Naxxas zone, though. Puck poked away. 53 Moon is reaching oh! for it. There's a hit right in the neutral zone. <laughs> Speaking of hits, not so long ago, we finally got to see another one, Green. I love it. Love contact. Wayland with that puck. Moon on the blind backhand. Gave it away to the Northern Alberta Extreme. Number 12, Wolitski has possession of that puck. Over on the far side, just past the tape of the Northern Alberta Extremes player. And deep into the zone of the Little Caesars. Picked up by Nax, who throws it towards the net. I think that was Samu. And Falbo handles that easy. This game is really good. Very, very exciting green. Fast. It reminds me sort of like a BCHL or a PJHL. Oh, top check to the neck. That was a bad one from Kessler. I don't know if you've seen that. I saw it. Near side. And there's a whistle on the play. It looks like we're going to get a call slashing. So it's not going to be for the initial cross nope. check. Have a look at this, Green. It's going to be the that, slash that's not a right after That's watch. a shoulder. There's no When he cross skates away, he slashes. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's right a cross check. There. there. That was bad. And, yeah, there it is. A little insult after injury. And Kessler's going to have to go sit. See you later, bud. There we go, Green. The Northern Alberta Extreme are on the power play, trying to get something going on for their team. And it looks like we have a pulled goaltender, but I was looking at the clock, and uh, there's still a lot of time left in this game. There's eight minutes and 55 seconds. I'm trying to get one on the board, right? Well, if they have a power play... Um, oh, man, their player just got hit in the head with a puck. Why, why not, Green? If they have a power play, let's get more bodies out there. Yeah. It's a championship game. You're down 4 to nothing. What do you got to lose is probably what they're thinking. Well, let's hit oh, they go do it. and scores from the point. Wolinski gets the first goal for the Northern Alberta Extreme, and they are on the board. Dude, that is how you capitalize on what you're trying to do right there. Pull the goalie, put the extra player out, 
and you sink the goal. That was beautiful. Look at that. Right from the point, through traffic green, he cut through everyone like he was Freddy versus Jason on Halloween, just hacking, slashing, cutting <laughs> like a knife through hot butter. Made it all its way to the back of the net. 4-1, to one, the Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme with 8 minutes and 35 seconds left to go in this hockey game. Paid off pulling the goalie. Yeah, that could have gone either one or two ways, Green, and it went one of the two ways. Oh! There's a bone-crunching hit of the neutral zone as number five Harvey has to shake his head and get back up. <laughs> Man, he got so He did indeed. And there's another one in the outside of the screen. Uh, Ballinger has a shot through the legs and scores! And the Detroit Little Caesars build on that lead. Wow, they did not take long to answer back there. No, they did not, Green. Less than a minute. Ring! Hello, who is it? It's me, Ballinger. I'm back, baby! <laughs> As he goes to collect props from his team, and let's run this one back. So here's this bone-crunching hit. Was that a little high now, Green? It was a little high, but the that, ref didn't call it. If that was a little high and that could have been a penalty, then this goal wouldn't have counted. Let us know in the comments what you think. There's a dodge from a hit that I was talking about, and Ballinger makes a little bit of a move. I love that goal, Green. He shot that puck right through the legs of Harvey, using his body as a screen for his own goaltender. Pick that corner. That was a beautiful goal. And the sellies on these that these kids are doing are all A1. Dude, it's great. It's fantastic. That was a great goal, too. Really nice goal by the Detroit. And they're celebrating with their man in the box. You can't get any better than <laughs> can't that. Can't leave them out. Five to one. The Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme. And Green, it's looking pretty rough for the Knacks right now in terms of catching up. Yes, it is, man. There's only about six minutes left in this game. I, I, I mean, they need a miracle to do it. Well, miracles are known to happen from time to time as there's a blocker saved by Falbo. Little Caesars have that puck trying to clear their zone. They get it out. Max picks it up. Dump it all the way back in. There's the pot's after it. If the Little Caesars weren't such a good team, I would say that they probably had a better chance. That's true. But they're so good, I just can't see them getting four more goals. Yeah, it would be really tough for the Northern Alberta Extreme yeah. to... I mean, to get four goals against a team like the Little Caesars. Yeah, they're deep right now, right? Here we go. Well, let's get trying to break through the two defenders, but Sapat's held them up, and he takes Sapat's down, Green. Now, that could be a penalty, and there it is. It's a holding call, I would say, on Wolitski. And Wolitski's going to argue it, but, uh, I mean, we just seen what happened, and we're going to run it back so you can see it in slow motion and see here's a hold. So he's holding him right there, his arm, and then he turns it around as he's holding him and does an old reverse suplex on him. Dude, I... I'm biased to this, man. I, I think they were holding each other. Yeah. I mean, uh, they were both tied up. And they're both going to go, Green. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Sapatz is going to go as well. You made the right call. Dude, I mean, they, it, you could just see it. They were both hanging on each other the whole time. Yeah, that's a good call by the referee. You got to admire that. And me. Thank you. Oh, you're all right. Here we go. Uh, puck picked up by Moon. Moon in the knack zone right now. Moon right over. And there's a nice one by Tangway. That is some textbook hockey we got to see unfold right in front of our eyes. Yes, sir. Indeed, that was beautiful. Green, they went to the library, used their library card, and scanned out the textbook. Dude, look at this, man. It's an absolute perfect pass. Look at that. Bang, tape, back of the net. Bang. You could see Gibson was already on that near side post, hugging it. By the time he got over, it was too late. These kids play hockey at an extremely fast pace, Green, and you're not getting over to save that one. No, you'd have to be flash. Six to one, the Detroit Little Caesars over the Northern Alberta Extreme. And the Detroit Little Caesars have pretty much dominated. They have dominated a lot of this game, Green. Which is which is crazy because when you look at the shot clock, it's still really close. It is. It is a close game. Right? They uh, just got some really good shooters. And that's the end of the game. Six to one. The Detroit Little Caesars have won the Pat Quinn Classic Championship game against the Northern Alberta Extreme in a phenomenal game here at the Burnaby Winter Club. Incredible game. Great. Congratulations to them. Green, let's have a look at the play of the game brought to you by Cell Entertainment. How do you pick one? Well, Green, you don't. You pick them all, and there you go. It all started off with that one goal by Kelly. Um, I mean, every single goal from the Detroit Little Caesars is going to be the play of the game. Dude, this one, this one is my favorite. 
That's a, that was a nice one by Kennedy. I love the sellies of these kids. I mean, they are some of the best celebrators oh, I've ever that was seen. Another crazy one. And Beanie, I mean, look at that. The flock of seagulls, Sally. I love that, Green. And these boys are at the right place here at Sally Entertainment to get their sellies appreciated. Yeah. Every single goal, they end off with the textbook. I mean, what a phenomenal game that the Little Caesars have played. Glad I got to see all those back. Yes, me too, Green. Here you go. They're going to go for a handshake, Green. You can see the Pat Quinn Classic trophy is being set out there. And, uh, yeah, what a game. What a game. The goaltender of the tournament or of the game, I can't remember which one it is, but it's Falbo. I know that much, Green, as we're having to go down here. Coach Ryan Kessler and uh, Carver, congratulations to them, Green. Former Vancouver Canuck. 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 Yeah, there you go. Good job, boys. Great game. Look at that trophy. The Detroit Little Caesars. That's a big trophy, Green. That's the only time Kessler's ever held up a cup. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to pass it off to his team. And Green, on that note, let's go interview the MVP of the Detroit Little Caesars. Well, Ryan Vincent here from Sally Entertainment. I'm with Riker Kessler of the Little Caesars. First and foremost, what a game. How are you feeling after that major victory for you boys? Really good. I mean, team played great. Yeah, they did. You guys had a solid game. What was the game plan going into this game to get the victory, which you guys did in dominating fashion? It's probably good. good have good uh, D zone structure. Just get pucks back in the net. Well, you did exactly that. Hey, on behalf of Sally Entertainment, I got a brand new Sally hoodie for you, first and foremost. So here you go. There's that. A couple quick fun questions before I let you go. Uh, what's your favorite food of all the time? Uh, I'd say sushi. Oh, sushi. That's the first time I've ever heard that. Last question. Who's your favorite hockey player and you can't say your dad? Uh, Cutter Goche. There you go. Hey, congratulations on the big one. Hey, good job, man.